Right. So dark. So, what kind of story would you like tonight? Hmm? Ah, like yesterday one. Hmm. It's similar like oh. like you made up story. And you know what I mean, right? So when did he couldn't Daddy, couldn't Daddy, remember? Daddy, 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 Daddy. Stories. Same story as last night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But a little bit different. A little bit different. Okay, okay, okay. It's similarity. <gasps> okay, I've got a good one. Once upon a time, there was a daddy who had two little girls. And one boy. And one boy who really liked listening to stories. Especially at bedtime and especially on the holidays when they would stay up late, very, very late, and read books and play and still have time for Daddy's story at like 12 o'clock at night. But one day, at the beginning of a long summer holiday, Daddy ran out of stories to tell. And he didn't know what to do. So he went to the bathroom for a poo and tried to think of a story while his kids were reading a book as he squeezed a fairy appeared from the toilets <gasps> poof fairy it's like an angel it's like the fairy that came to see Cinderella the same fairy godmother anyway the fairy appeared in the bathroom. Who? Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, said the fairy godmother. And I believe that you have no more stories left in your head. <gasps> That's right. How do you know? Well, I'm your fairy godmother. That's my job. And I am going to help you. <gasps> really? Daddy. That's right. Daddy. Uh-huh. No. Wait, though, wait, why not? Now, same one. You, not different one. You want the same one? Not different one. Well, let me finish this one quickly then. Mm -hmm. And the fairy godmother said, I am going to grant you the power to tell stories. But you must remember, the story power is going to run out at 10 o'clock every single night so that means your children have to go to bed before 10 o'clock or else they will have no stories and so daddy went back into the bedroom and said okay children tonight there's no story but do you know what happened in the toilet and he told the true story of the fairy and that was good enough to put them to sleep that night because it was a true story. But then, the next night, Daddy came back home, and it was 9.45, <gasps> and the children were still running around, jumping off the sofa, being silly little monkeys. <laughs> Quick! We've got to get to bed before 10 o'clock. Huh? Why? <laughs> because my stories are going to run out of my head. And so he picked up the little girl, picked up the little boy and ran to the bathroom and brushed the teeth <laughs> and he told the little girl to get some water and get the pyjamas and quickly in a, 10 minutes they'd all had the pyjamas on they would all wash their face and brush their teeth and rinsed and they were lying down in bed and daddy had 5 minutes to tell the best story in the world and he did and just as he was about to say the end the time went to 10 o'clock and he didn't get to say the end but anyway it was still good enough and the next night because it was a holiday mum had let them play terribly late and daddy got home at 9.42 and they were still eating the food and dad was like oh my gosh what's going to happen I can't get them to finish the food and brush the teeth and wash the face and get changed all in 18 minutes and tell them a story. <sighs> so he sat down with them 
and he got his food and he said how about instead of a bedtime story I'll tell you a nighttime dinner story and so he told them the bedtime story when they were finishing off the dinner at 9.50 and he told them the best story for 10 minutes and after the story had finished he did say the end and he promised that next day he would get home earlier and that they promised they would go to bed a bit earlier as well which was good and so the next day he came home at 9 o'clock so we had a full hour and the kids had finished eating their food and they'd finished brushing their teeth and they were ready waiting for daddy sitting on the bed that night was the best story night in the world because daddy told the story for one full hour and the children were laughing and crying and screaming and jumping because it was such an interesting fun story and that night the children had the best dreams in the world and ever since that night the children had promised even if mum didn't get them ready the children the biggest daughter the first girl was old enough now to help make the food and get them ready and she would always be very responsible and say come on sister and brother it's 8.55 let's get ready for bed for when dad comes home at 9 o'clock and she was really looking after the two little brother and sister and so every night from then on daddy would come home around 9 o'clock have a quick shower and sit down and tell the children the best stories ever and he did that until they went and got their own children and by the time they'd all got their own children they'd heard so many fantastic stories that they also told stories as well and they became three really famous writers and painters and scientists and they discovered so many things and told so many more stories that the whole world became a better place one of them became the best scientist explorer adventurer in the world the other one became a famous writer and journalist and traveler and the other one became just a famous musician an artist and singer. I don't think I'm just going to be a famous musician, Daddy. He was a famous... What's he going to be? Famous actor in movie. No, Edith is going to be a famous actor. Ah, so He's like a bloody monkey or something. What's else he going to be? A famous businessman. Okay. A famous teacher. No, a, a famous... famous Writers enough. Oh, writers enough. A famous, a famous. I don't know how to get this. Just famous sports player. Okay. Yes, that's it. And that is a story about Daddy and the stories. I wish that was true. The end. Same one as last time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Once upon a time.